Hey, we always want to hear from Bodega Hive. That is correct, which is why every week we're taking y'all questions in the audience, you know, because we love y'all. All right, question number one. All right, so Bronxite to Bronxite. BX all day, you What's up? Um, how would you describe the Bronx to an alien? Oh. Yo, the same way uh, Mufasa did to uh, Simba. <laughs> like, yo, go to Park Slope. Go over there. Do not go to the Joker steps. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Stay in your lane, B. This is not for you. you know I don't know. I guess far. Because the Bronx is far from everything. So I guess just be like, yo, take the train mad far. Well, it depends. Because think about, like, if you're an alien, you make it all the way to Earth. Now you got to also go to the Bronx. <laughs> Like, what if you're alien, you land in Brooklyn, and you're like, zerp, 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 233rd. You're like, Jesus Christ, uh, that's, two, that's an hour on the train. Bleep, blarp, blarp, shuttle. All right? Wait till that alien gets to, like, 121st Street. You're like, hey, uh, this train's going down service. There's a shuttle bus upstairs. Be sure to get a transfer. I want to deal with that. Bleep, blarp, what is transfer? Next question. So in the spirit of Friendsgivings and the holiday season, what are you guys getting each other for Christmas? Uh... Jesus was not born in Christmas, so I don't celebrate it. <laughs> Think about it, like a baby couldn't be in a manger in December in the Middle East because like the, temp the native temperature at that time is 35 degrees, so the baby would have died. So the whole thing is a lie. <laughs> and that's how I don't sell gifts on Christmas. My thing is like, I got four kids, motherfucker, so here's a beer koozie <laughs> that I got from the Indy 500. The also, it'd be weird if we got each other gifts because we tried to have try to outdo each other. So I'd have to give him like a snowmobile. He'd give him like a massage parlor or something yeah. like that. <laughs> like, I'm like, here, I got you a baby panda. Uh, I'd be like, yo, here's a the adult panda the fucking uterus <laughs> that it came from. OK. <laughs> you got to keep it on ice. All right. Next question. Um, so in keeping with the holidays, the uh, you know New Year's is coming up. So I was wondering if you guys could each maybe tell uh, your messiest New Year's Eve story and maybe rank it on a one to ten Ooh, scale. Man. You, so this is my New Year's. If you don't f get fucked up, like, on a regular basis, New Year's is, like, rookie season. So that's why you go outside, everybody's throwing up, everybody's pissing everywhere, because it's like, yo, I drank a sixer, and I'm a, I'm a mess. <laughs> I had a friend, who I will not name, who I told, listen, I'll hang out with you on New Year's if you are, you know what I'm saying, like, Keep it okay. Like, don't wild out. Don't wild out. I know you. You wild the fuck out. Do not wild the fuck out. Nobody wants to hang out with you. Do not wild the fuck out. This motherfucker wilds out. <laughs> so then he ends up getting in a fight. There's a girl that wants to have sex with him, very obviously, and he fucked that all the way up by talking about how his gun was on him at all times, and he's mad gangster, and we're like in the Washington Heights. He comes outside, there's four Dominican dudes sitting on an S550 in front of a dilapidated building. I'm like, fam, those guys are not lawyers. Don't talk to them. And then he's, he goes like, yo, Poppy, what's up? Yo, you know what I'm saying? We get work on the block. And the guy turns around to me, he's like, yo, get your man out of here before he gets killed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So thank you for fucking up my entire fucking New Year's. <laughs> Bleep that. <laughs> that's my guy, though. He's I before. once had a New Year's where I was a character called King Henny Palooza. <laughs> <laughs> and basically, my, I had a crown on, and I was walk around, and I, anytime I saw someone and they were in drink, and I'd give them a Henny Colada. So imagine a house full of people who have had five to six Henny Coladas. <laughs> and then at two in the morning, my sister, who's a nurse, shout out to her, she just showed up with her newborn. So now we're just passing a newborn around, taking pictures with it. <laughs> the whole first floor was like a Beyonce tribute, so I don't know what's going on. And then like this girl was there, and I have no idea to this day who she was there with. And she was like, hey, hey, is this your party? And I was like, yeah. She was like, I'm mad drunk. So I had to throw everyone out the basement and lock her down there with like a blanket. And I was like, I don't know your name. Here's my phone number. Call me if you need anything. <laughs> And I was like, everyone needs to go home. And then my boy came through with the wild bottle Patron at like five in the morning. And so the party kept going. And then at 11, we had to make everyone eggs. And I have no, I, I have no idea who was at that party. And they destroyed my mother's microwave. And that was, <laughs> that was five years ago. So that was a wild night. The so girl stole the basement, huh? <laughs> she run, oh shit. <laughs> She's down there scratching on the wall, like doing a tally on the wall. Like. She's like, day 486. <laughs> I can't wait to kill him. <laughs> next question. Who's next? Over here? Yeah. Do you have any good Thanksgiving Day clapbacks? For? For, like, family? Oh, if they say anything wild to me, yeah. I'll be like, I'm on TV. Shut up. 
That's what I'm. That's what I'm gonna start doing. Really, honestly, that's what I'm gonna start doing. I got like maybe like a stack, of, a small stack of like bills, and I just light them on fire and throw them at them. Like yo. <laughs> No, my thing for Thanksgiving is I come in and I'll be like, when I come to Thanksgiving, I'll be like, hey, great time. Hey, guys, I have a heart out. <laughs> and they're like, what does that mean? I was like, oh, you, have, you can't only be oh, here for a short amount of time. Sorry. Like, yeah. there's a whole time I'm taking phone calls. I'll turn the TV to Showtime on demand. I'll be like, oh, shit, oh, my God, my show's on. How embarrassing. <laughs> and, you know, my nephew come up like, oh, Uncle Jesus. I'm like, ah, come on, bro, no autographs right now. Like, <laughs> it's family time. And then I just leave. And I leave him, like, a little gift bag or whatever. And I'll be like, yo, selfies, selfies. Take a Anybody selfie with my mother and I'll be out. You know what I'm saying? I'll be like, yo, thanks for supporting the brand. Ah, 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 what's your name? Mom? Mom. Nice. Your fucking mother. Nice, yo. One, two with the homie mom. Ah, uh, yo, yo, keep doing your thing, yo. I support you. Yo. I'll repost this shit. Yo, I'm gonna check your shit out. I might follow you on Instagram. Probably not, though. So, yo, I birthed this motherfucker, man. I'm like, anyone see my car service outside? <laughs> Next question. I'm new to the Bodega Hive. What should I know? What should you know? Uh, you have to die for the hive one day. You ready? Right. Also, you need to go to the Church of Dykeman Street and be baptized at Mama Sushi. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> By uh, Pastor Peel. <laughs> he made me hookah once, though. You made what? He made me a hookah. He made, oh, you met, you met Peel before? Him. He made me a hookah. Oh, wow. He what, made you hookah. What, oh, was so you like meeting, what was it like meeting Peel? Was it um, life changing? It was. It was. So I, was it life changing, like in a good way or in a bad way? Like, wow, I hope my kids nah, don't end up was, like this. The hookah was hitting. Yeah. Shout out to Peel. <laughs> The so you already pulled the guy. Like you just met the president himself. Oh. Has anyone thought that maybe Peel smoking hookah is the reason why Peel's Peel? Uh, no. Like, <laughs> he has an actual condition. Uh, actual I'm, well, I'm sure whatever condition he has is not helped by smoking hookah. <laughs> I've watched a lot of Grey's Anatomy, and there's never a condition they're like, yo, he needs four stats of hookah. 